amazing. They're like little rockets. That one just shot to float under. I barely got a drift in, and that's because it's a really silver fish. I love to be able to watch the line with this uh, fluorescent yellow line. You can see how easy it is to see what the fish is doing. And then you have the security with that fluorocarbon leader that there's no way they're gonna see your line underwater. Let's see how, look at this. So I was gonna say, let's see how fresh this fish is. It's pretty fresh. I imagine some of these rainbows, because the river's still frozen at the mouth, have been coming up in the last 72 hours underneath the ice because there's been a little bit of thawing during the daytime. You know, a lot of people will email me at Ask Italo on our website, and they'll say, how can I know when the trout are in? Are they in? And I say, the only way to know is trial and error. You actually have to go out to the river, and you got to check the conditions. I could do this all day long, no getting bored. Okay, so I'm trying to stay nice and calm. I'm going to get the fish on the snow over here even though we've been walking around because it's nice and cold for the fish and slippery. You can see that it's thrashing around quite a bit. I'm very careful the way I put my line down. And you can see how pristine these fresh run fish are. And it rolled once it got into the net. It started rolling a little bit. There's my hook. I'm just going to put that over here. Not a beautiful fish. I'm just going to get some of the dirt off it. Look at how brilliant. You can see that pink sheen on the side. If I maybe tilt it a little bit. They are gorgeous. So I'm going to get this one back into the water. We're not keeping them out very long. Got a nice high bank here. Good thing that I got a long handle on this net. I don't really want to get this trout muddy, so you see I'm suspending it off the bottom. And because it's a shallow basket net, there's no problem. And this guy wants, she wants to go. I keep saying this guy, these are females. Come on, get spun around. There's its head. Look at that. What a beautiful scene right back out there. Man, this action has been non-stop. You know, you talk about non-stop action. Bill, have you still got your fish on? Yeah, yeah, I got, I got, I got uh, meat here, boy. Every drift we're making together, we're getting double headers. Bill's got a nice fish in the teens. All right, I'm coming action. out of this. Yeah, come on down. I'm gonna let this fish stay in the snow here while I unhook it. You know, Bill's going to be a minute because he's got a bigger fish on. You can see just hooked in the snout. This is a nice male. He's about, I'm guessing, four pounds. Okay, whoa, 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 settle down. At least he's in snow, so he's not getting, he's not getting uh, marked up. Hold we definitely up. got heavy here. Okay, hopefully he'll fit in the net. Oh, it yeah. looks like a good fish. Oh, yeah. But you got to get it down a little bit it, farther. It, it, it dropped a few pounds. Oh, cut. <laughs> Hey, it the dropped a pounder? couple. It, it, it went from 14 to 7? It dropped a couple. It looked bigger. I'm, well, you get the net in the I've water. Got the net. What do you want me to do? Jump up? Well, there? look yeah. at it. You just, when they're thrashing, a good tip for the viewers. When a fish is thrashing like that, don't try to net it. You'll probably break it off. Okay? Is that like, no, no. Yeah, okay. So Are you, when the fish settles down, work the fish, work the fish with me, okay? Don't give me the deer in the headlight look, okay? When the fish settles down, then I'm going to take a lunge at it lunge. and get it in the net. And I will try not to toss it. Are you ready? Like I've seen some guys do to the far side of the river. Here we go. Head first. You're going to set them right Head in. Head first. There you go. Thank you. Head first and on the snow. Look at this. Now that okay. is Billy. That no, is a prime that... rainbow. He's a couple of pounds smaller than the one I got. <laughs> but hey, okay, hook is right. Okay, you got your things? I got my things. Okay, good thing because I don't, yeah, you need them. Look at their teeth. You know, I just scraped myself. Watch your line. Don't damage it. Easy. Grab and pull. Perfect. Yeah, he, he's in great shape. Oh, he's cold. What How a beautiful cold? thing. Look at his kipe. Keep me in, keep me in. Mm. Careful. I can't believe you did that with all those teeth. <laughs> You're pretty bold. Bold. Yeah, look, look at those teeth. Nice kipe. And he's got that nice uh, dark cheek line. What do we got here? It's like mascara. We mascara, get, that's mascara. Turn it around. Yeah, the artist no. just... Ow. What, what, what? No, that's mascara. yellow on there. Is yeah, it yellow yeah, or whatever It's a little it bit is. of makeup. Yeah. These are TV fish, okay? Yeah. They're gorgeous. Look at that. Just beautiful, beautiful, soft colors, very few spots. They, they're all different. You can see gorgeous fish. Unique. Yeah, okay. And again, lamprey marks. Yeah, I'm going to get them back in. Without tripping and falling over the bank. Not yet. And you know what? He is out of there. Yep, again. Billy, here, let me give you a hand. 
You bugger. What? what is that? What? Let me see. What? What? What did you do? What well, I had it in my hand. What is that juice there? <laughs> yeah. Canadian Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala Premium Fishing Gear crafted from experience. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Dickies, guaranteed workwear since 1922. Lucky Strike, more fish bite with a Lucky Strike. So both of these are, are pretty high vis outside of the water. This one you can't see underwater, this one you can see. But one of the things that's really important, no matter which lines you use, is that for the actual leader, that section that's down near the fish, that you use a fluorocarbon leader. And what I've been using is fluorocarbon that's six pound test. And this is the one that I'm holding up here. The thing about fluorocarbon is that it does not conduct light. Once the light hits the fluorocarbon, it goes right through it. One of the reasons why you can see this bright yellow line is fluorescent. So when the light hits it, it actually goes into the line and then goes up and down the line. 